Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Natus here at Caring Medical Florida and I wanted to share with you an interesting case that I saw the other day. So this was a patient that actually came in with Achilles tendon pain and degeneration. So about a middle-aged guy and um, on one side, his left side, his Achilles was hurting a lot more than his right and it had been bothering him for quite some time but was starting to really now affect daily life. So we use ultrasound to evaluate the uh, injured Achilles tendon, but then also I oftentimes will ultrasound the other side just to compare. So this is his good side, okay? This is the right side. This that we have, like this measurement on, that's the Achilles tendon. So on his right side, it was measuring about 0.7 centimeters. Normally what we would want to see like in a healthy tendon is like, mostly bright white striations throughout, minimal what we call hypoechoic or anechoic, which means like kind of gray and black areas. So this is good side, and then just by comparison, here's his left. So pretty obvious difference, right? 1.32 centimeters is how thick this was. What's important to note about that is that the more degenerated the tendon is, the thicker it's gonna be. So bigger is not always better. So this is pretty much almost twice the size of his good side. Like that's how thick, that's how degenerated this tendon is. And so even just to kind of compare side by side, you can tell a clear difference between the good and the bad, even if you didn't know anything about this patient. So when we see that, that didn't happen overnight, right? It's been going on for quite some time. It's pretty chronic. We also want to evaluate the surrounding ankle. Is this solely just an Achilles injury, just an Achilles issue, or is there an ankle instability that's been contributing to this? Like that Achilles has been compensating so long for this ankle instability that it itself has started to degenerate. Usually in these cases, we often have to reach for cellular prolotherapy, meaning like PRP, platelet-rich plasma, or in some cases, even stem cells like bone marrow aspirate in order to get these tendons to heal and strengthen to a point where that person can trust it, use it, and be able to walk, do stairs without pain. And that treatment plan really oftentimes depends on the patient's goals. You know, if somebody comes in and they say, look, I just wanna be able to walk around my house without pain and without hurting, well, how strong do we have to get that tendon compared to somebody that's like, hey, I wanna play basketball, I wanna hike, I wanna do all of these things. They're gonna need, you know, a lot more strength in that tendon to be able to handle that, and we would adjust the treatment plan as such.